Hello everybody and welcome back to Victoria 2 where I reloaded the game and uh, was looking around to see what some options were and I hit the mobilize button and um, that seems to have mobilized us. So that's going to be a thing. We can also build a couple of new regular units and I'm going to do so. I'm going to get those queued up and we're just going to uh, try our best to try to repel England. Uh, we... They're marching away? Okay. That'll buy us some time. I don't want to be marching into Atbara right now, I think. I want to just hold in Khartoum. And we'll just regenerate some of these troops while waiting for our mobilization to take effect. Is that going to increase our number of possible brigades? Or... Hang on, we have a second army here. So just infantry? Oh, they're laborers. Okay. So this is just creating more troops for us. That's fascinating. These guys are marching back in now. Okay. Their morale also ticked way down. That's interesting, but ultimately not something I think we can take advantage of. Just look at the numbers differential here. With the tech difference and the numbers difference, we have to wait till machine guns come in. I don't think we have a choice there. Okay, let's try to group up all of our troops. Where are they going? Rabak over to here. Okay. Let's pull back to Kasala. Actually, let's pull back into the mountains, but go this way. I would rather defend in the mountains if we have to defend. What's our supply limit? 37. Ooh, that's actually very, very low. Uh, 58 in Gonder. We'll just sit in Kasala for now. Okay, are we going to get any more mobilization brigades? Yes, we are. We'll just group everything up. Egypt has an army up here, but so does Persia, and the Ottomans are kind of wrecking Egypt up here. This is what we need to be worried about, and any other British expeditionary armies that end up coming in. We'll move up this unit up to Kasala. So they're taking Rabak and moving into Senar now. But we absolutely want to get our machine guns done before we fight them. That is guaranteed that we want to have happen. 90,000 troops, and they're still reinforcing. Oof. <laughs> okay, that's gonna... that's gonna hurt. Well, there's our combat width reduction. They're now moving into Wad Madani. So they're moving up over here. I'm okay with this. Let's see. Deep defense, steel breach loaded artillery, artillery support increase. Army organization and mobilization size, maybe. Or just morale and military tactics. Either way, it's not going to be done for quite a while. Until next year, August. Okay. Now, it bears noting that the UK is the war leader in this. The Ottoman Empire is, I believe, the war leader for them. Or for us. I am not the war leader in this. So the Ottoman Empire might just give away our territory. That said... We've only got, like, eight years left in this game, so I'm not too concerned. Are we going to get any additional suffragettes? Now is not the time, ladies. Okay, let's, um, let's proceed. Uh, we're already at 100%. We may have to cut our education budget, and I'm going to do that. Education to 50%. Social spending, gone. That'll help. We may also have to desubsidize our factories. This one should not be subsidized, nor should this one. Those all closed? Okay. Uh, we're going to desubsidize all factories right now. There we go. Are they marching into us? They are not. Okay. I'm fine with this. 
If they're marching into Khartoum, we can start taking back Senar. Which is what we're going to do. We do have some troops finishing up. These are regulars, not mobilized troops. Okay, in we come. How close are they to capped out here? Um, I think they're getting pretty close. Are they marching into us? No, they're going into Kasala. This is fine. We're taking attrition, that's for sure. I'm thinking about splitting this in half. So that we can move a little quicker. And sending one around like this. And one in here. And we're just going to try to avoid them, if at all possible. Because that's a huge army. Luckily, they haven't been coming in with a second army yet. I imagine that's just a matter of time. Hey, where are you going now? Haya. No, Wad Madani. They're coming over here. That's spooky. I feel like we have to retreat. Something like this. We'll keep this army here for now. Oh, they caught us. I didn't expect them to be able to, like, teleport like that. Retreat, ASAP. Retreat. Retreat. They're not retreating. Oof. Stack wiped. Stack wiped. Man, they, they really teleported from Wad Madani to Khartoum there. We immediately started backing off, but they still caught us. 13 March, 16 March. Yeah, they're just faster. 14, 18. Yeah, it just is what it is. Okay. Well, that sucks. <laughs> we do have all this going on, though. But we're basically out of this war. What is the war goal here? Egypt acquires Sudan. Oof. Well, that would suck. I mean, we're gonna lose the war. There's no doubt about that. We're completely out of troops. Um, we're also demobile. We might as well demobilize. We were 100% mobilized. And we can't mobilize again, presumably, for an amount of time. Yeah, not enough to mobilize a brigade. Well, I hope the Ottomans can carry the day, because we can't. It's no longer in our hands, so we're just going to work on tech. Sometimes I really hate Britain. <laughs> like, this is a very annoying attack that they made here. And they, we know they were planning to do this for a while, right? Because Egypt made this declaration before. But nobody would sphere me, and I'm not entirely sure why. Okay, so they fully occupy the war goal right now. And they're marching upward. But Egypt is almost fully occupied by the Ottomans. And the Ottomans are starting to de-occupy the war goal now. Like, I feel like the Ottomans, what's their tech level? I mean, they're only 94, but what's their, uh, I know there's a way to see the tech level here somewhere. Yeah, the Ottomans are getting crushed there. They were able to retreat, though, and they won back this siege. Maybe they can fight to a white piece. What are we spending all of our money on, out of curiosity? Loans. Well, that's some of it, for sure. But where is all this money going? Education, administration... Oh, national stockpile purchases. Right. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and automate these again. 
since it's very clear at this point that we're not going to win that war. Well, I mean, we might. Actually, we very well might. Things are going reasonably well. Like, the Ottoman armies are losing, but they're taking territory back very consistently. They've pretty well knocked Egypt out of the war. And we've got ticking war score on our side right now. Interesting. Well, come on, Ottomans. You can do it. Don't just be some place that the British rest their feet on. <laughs> Rip that army, though. Army risk management. Fantastic. We're going to go for steel breach loaded artillery next. We can also do proportional representation. And I'm going to do that. Excellent. So, I mean, if Britain is just going to only attack us with this army, which... Oh, the Ottomans are invading their territory over here, too. The Ottomans are kind of outmaneuvering the British right now. They can't beat them in a straight-up fight, but they can de-siege faster than the British can siege. A war score went back down to 18% there. Because they took this, presumably. But the Ottomans are now going to come in here and take this back. That said, well, if they brought this force in, they might actually be able to beat the British. But they don't seem interested in trying. And I guess I don't blame them. Now, the British are going to walk into Senar and fight them. And they're kind of losing. They're losing. The Ottomans are going to win this. Holy crap, the Ottomans won. So this is a thing. Where's the other British forces? They must have other forces, because the British forces are going to be kind of scattered around the entire British Empire. They attacked with their African forces. They must have had another force up here that the Ottomans beat in the north of Egypt. What's the UK strength looking like? 1821, so they're still extremely strong. Like, to the point where the Ottomans should be losing this, but I guess they're just overextended? I mean, war score keeps going down. Are the Ottomans getting attacked up over here? Wait, war score up here is in favor of the British, right? Whereas war score down here is in favor of the defenders. So war score going down is good. The British are kind of getting wrecked right now, although they did leave this force here. And it makes me wonder... Should we, perhaps, build a few units? We'll build a few units of guard, two units of cavalry, and then four units of artillery. Like that. And hopefully, these guys are going to bail. Or get wrecked by Persia, maybe? Persia doesn't seem interested. They're sieging very slowly, though. But this is interesting. The Ottomans are kind of wrecking them, and I don't really understand why. Like, 1822 for the British military power. I guess they just didn't have troops in the area. And now Persia is marching in over here and taking this back. That's good. I feel like Persia wins this fight, though, if they just go in.
Got some nice morale there. Fantastic. Are they going in? Nope, they're walking away. Fair enough. Well, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I guess next episode, we're going to see if we win this through some kind of miracle. <laughs> Subscribe for more, and I'll see you all next time.